Greetings. Uh, good, to, good to see you today. Uh, this is Pastor Clyde Hirsch from Ambassador Baptist Church. Uh, we have uh, Philip and Diane Crow with us this week, uh, uh, bringing uh, uh, the truth to us through music and being a blessing to us. And uh, they've been with us many years, and it's good to have them back. Thank you. Uh, obviously, Thank we're you. shut down right now is, uh, because of the virus. We had a few people in the church come down, so we're down for a couple of weeks. Uh, but uh, it's a blessing to be able to have them here. And now we're going to uh, ask them if they would take the, what they would have been doing in our church so that uh, we could share it with God's people. They will still get a blessing. So I hope this is a blessing to you. And uh, it certainly has been a blessing to me as this is the second one we're taping. Amen. And I'm going to start us with a word of prayer and turn it over to them. Uh, Father, it's uh, good to be here in your house. Uh, we pray you'll uh, put an end to this uh, virus that, uh, and to stop uh, the spread of it and uh, cause people to uh, not to get it anymore. We pray, Lord, that uh, uh, that you'll uh, provide a, someday uh, perhaps a, a vaccine for this. But Lord, yes. leave that up to you. Amen. Either way, Lord, we know you're still on the throne and you still show great grace to us. Uh, Lord, bless us now. Uh, you made us music and lift our hearts and encourage our souls as, as, uh, as uh, with music we glorify you. Bless the crows, uh, Philip and Diane, as they bless us with a forever his ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, preacher. Thank you very much. Well, this is going to be the one that everybody requests. It's called Boy Old oh Boy. <laughs> What a feeling Boy, boy, oh boy I can hardly stand it Boy, boy, oh boy There is joy in my soul God's Holy Spirit overflows I go to church on Sundays To hear the preacher preach With preaching from the Word of God My heart's not hard to reach Every sin besetting me and making my life rough I run to my rock of refuge He's more than enough Well, boy, oh boy, oh boy, we what a feeling Yes, boy, boy, oh boy, we I can hardly stand it Boy, boy, oh boy, we there is joy in my soul God's Holy Spirit overflows People live in darkness and die in the same. Though salvation's free to all who trust in Jesus' name. When I'm blessed to see one who turns from dark to light, my blesser gets turned inside out. Satan lost the fight. Well, boy, boy, oh boy, we what a feeling. Yes, boy, boy, oh boy, we I can hardly stand it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, we there is joy in my soul. God's Holy Spirit overflows. Oh boy, oh boy, we what a feeling. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy, we I can hardly stand it. Oh boy, oh boy, we there is joy in my soul. God's Holy Spirit overflows. Oh boy, oh boy, God's Holy Spirit overflows. That was a little bit too high for Brother Crow, yeah. but uh, I'll make it. <laughs> and here's one we haven't done in years and years, except every time we come here. It's called, God Has a Whale Waiting on You. About the man named Jonah I see that he did what he wanna The Lord said to go to Nineveh My man We find he turned his back on God that day Said I'm gonna do things my way And you know Lord It doesn't matter what you say God had a will Waiting on Jonah 
God's got a whale waiting on you. Amen. If you think of your own self first and follow what you want to do, you're going to find that God's got a whale ready to swallow you. Well, the story about the man named Jonah seems to make some of us want to moan. The Lord has said to some of us this story could apply. Go to the world and tell them, repent. From the word of God we have been sent. But just like Jonah, all we want to do is whine. God had a will. Waiting on Jonah And God's got a whale Waiting on the pastor Amen <laughs> If you think of your own self first And follow what you want to do You're gonna find that God's got a whale Ready to swallow you If you think of your own self first and follow what you want to do You're gonna find that God's got a will Ready to swallow you Amen Alright uh, The next one we're gonna do is What giant is this? I think this has been a, a whole year of seems like giant after giant after giant with our government and with this COVID-19 thing that's just keeping us all stirred up. And other issues. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's a there's a situation here mm -hmm. that God is still God. <laughs> no matter what. You know, the giants, little David threw away the the, the stuff that the man gave him. And let God win his battle. That's what we need to do. What giant is this that the Lord can't conquer? What giant is this that the Lord can't conquer? What giant is this that stands so tall? What giant is this that's such a fierce snarl? Take a closer look, it's nothing at all. Bill stack up some are overdue, a creditor call. He's gonna sue, the house is about to be taken away. The IRS wants taxes paid, car is old and broken down. Gas is high, no money around. These giants have us on the ground. It's hard to walk God's way. What giant is this that the Lord can't conquer? What giant is this that stands so tall? What giant is this that's such a fierce snarl? Take a closer look, it's nothing at all. Isn't that true? Sometimes we blow things out of proportion. But we need to look at it God's way. Health deteriorates, vision is poor, disc in the back, make nerves sore, strokes and depression take away from life, cancer putting people under the knife, pain and sorrow everywhere, people die, few seem to care. These are some giants all of us share on this road of life. Marriage, divorce, children leave home, more bad news on the phone. Another fight with the ones we love, we feel forsaken from God above. Earthquakes, tremors, rumor of wars, peace 
looks like a bleeding sore. Giants closer than before. Give a final shove. What giant is this that the Lord can't conquer? What giant is this that stands so tall? What giant is this that's such a fierce snarl? Take a closer look. It's nothing at all. Take a closer look. God conquers all. Yes, he does. I'm so glad. Amen. Can you do uh, this one right here? I can. Yeah. It's a beautiful song that Brother Crow wrote a few years back. And I think we've sang it here before, but it's always dear to my heart because it talks about our Lord. It talks about what happened the day that I accepted Christ. He put his print on my heart, his thumbprint, <laughs> his DNA on me, and I belong to him, and I want to serve him with all my heart. Me too. That's what this song is all about, his print upon my heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 
determined in my heart. His power has impressed me so that to the world I must go and tell them of salvation's plan from God to a sinful Tell them of salvation's plan From God to a sinful man And tell them of salvation's plan From God to a sinful man To a sinful man that we can't do what we used to do <laughs> and uh, some of the uh, songs are way back when God's given me 203 songs now and given Sister Crow about 25 and we are just so thankful so thankful for his mercy and his grace upon our lives uh, I always encourage other people especially young people or even older ones that has a song on their heart write it down yes yeah, would you do that? Write it down and then get you something to record on and just record it and then send it to me so I can I can reap the benefits. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> But uh, seriously, get it written down and send it to somebody and see if they will record it because it would be a blessing to people out there. Because see, not everybody has the same style I do. Not everybody has the, the uh, same ideas I do. And yet, if it uh, comes from the Bible, you with me? If it comes from the Bible, then it's going to be right. Just don't do that. Uh... Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I was trying to keep it spiritual. <laughs> that wasn't. Amen. You know, because... I trusted Christ, and because of His print upon my heart, one of my favorite things to do is to think on home. Now, we travel all over the country. We're back in Texas. Just because we're in Texas doesn't mean we go home. Our home church, Countryside Baptist Church, that's our home. Amen. And we get our mail through them. We, we come out as an extended ministry and travel all over the country to be an encouragement to our local Baptist churches. Yes, we do. And so that's what we do. And and, but that's not really home. We, we have a fifth wheel trailer and we live in our fifth wheel and it's parked behind the church here. And we, I like to say we exist in it because it's not really home either. That's right. Our real home is where our Lord is. That's in heaven. <laughs> When I was a young girl, my mama would, or even all my life growing up, I guess, my mama would always tell us, she'd call if we was away somewhere, and she'd say, now, honey, if, if the Lord sees fit to take me home before you get back, well, you just know I'll be waiting on the other shore for you. I like this song. And that's where mama's at, dad, his mom and dad, lots of friends and family. That's right. But most of all, the one that made all this possible, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This is about home. It's called a place on another shore. Amen. Love to sing about home. Think about this. There's a home waiting for me in a land with a crystal sea. Gates of
Christ went to prepare a place on another shore. I believe one day I walk through my mansion door. What will make heaven home for me is the greatest sight that I will see. Jesus as God where I will be forever. Right, amen. Okay, now that's what home is going to look like. Now I want to tell you what the Savior Christ, oh, what we're going to do when we get there. I hope you're with us when we go. When we get to that other land, there will be a heavenly band lifting praises to our Lord and the King of Kings. There will be where he brought us from confirms it's finished nothing else to be done we'll take our place and amazing grace we will see Jesus went to prepare a place on another shore I believe one day I'll walk through my mansion door what will make heaven home for me is the greatest sight that I will see. Jesus as God where I will be forevermore. What will make heaven home for me is the greatest sight that I will see. Jesus forever. Woo! Amen. Amen. A lot of people say, I want to see Mama and Daddy, and I do. But I want to see the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He who paid the full penalty for my sin debt. Amen. Yep. What a God. What a God. Yes. Sister Crow, let's do, uh, yeah, I like this one. Yes. One day I'll be standing on the good side of goodbye. <laughs> that was what y'all was going to request, wasn't it? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> One day I'll be standing on the good side of goodbye On one hand waving to loved ones On the other hand looking to the other side No regrets for I see Jesus after all He is the reason I can say I'll be standing On the good side of goodbye I have stood and watched loved ones pass into eternity. Heart strings straining, teardrops falling, feeling sorry for me. I know I'll miss them as they go. This is a part of life. And though it hurts, if they're saved, they're on the good side of goodbye. One day I'll be standing on the good side of goodbye. On one hand waving to loved ones, on the other hand looking to the other side. No regrets for us, see Jesus after all. He is the reason I can say I'll be standing on the good side of goodbye. Praise God. How can goodbye be of any good when it breaks the heart of man? Remembering how it used to be of the race that they ran. But the Bible says we're to lift our eyes, keep them on the eastern sky. Our redemption drawing nigh is the good side of goodbye. One day I'll be standing on the good side of goodbye. 
on one hand waving to loved ones on the other hand looking to the other side no regrets for us see jesus after all he is the reason i can say i'll be standing on the good side of goodbye no regrets for us see jesus after all he is the reason i can say i'll be standing i can say i'll be standing i can say i'll be standing on the good side of goodbye <laughs> all right well we're getting close to our time limit and I would love... Five minutes. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. How much time do we have, uh, Pastor? We have what, that's, what the pastor told me earlier. Oh. Okay. So Perfect. this is going to be a song that Sister Crow's daddy, uh, this was his favorite song. And... Uh, he he passed away several months after this because he's he had told us several times that this was it. the 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 last time he said it, he was uh, two years ago. He was just about to pass, and he said, um, "I'm going to keep going until I'm gone." <laughs> Amen. Isn't that what it's all about? Yes, COVID-19 would shut us down. Yes, the government would shut us down. Yes, people would shut us down. But folks, stay faithful to the Lord. Amen. I'm not just talking to these people here. I'm talking to those that are watching this. Understand there is a reason to keep going. The Lord Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary to die for us and then raise on the third day and then he ascended to his Father in heaven. Can I please tell you, what if he had said, oh, I'll get to it. Oh, I'll go if I think it's worthy. Or maybe some other excuse. Mm -hmm. See, folks, we always hear excuses, right? And sometimes they are viable excuses like this COVID-19. But can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, understand that God wants us to be faithful to Him under all conditions, no matter what. Stay in church. If you can, if you can't, then at least watch the services. Amen. Just always, and if there's someone you come in contact with, stay six feet from them and yell at them. Jesus saves. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's worth it. It's worth it. Don't give up. It wasn't too long after he said, this is my favorite song, that uh, Diane's dad passed and went on to heaven. His work. But you know what he did? He was in the hospital. And he'd take, uh, he'd always wear a shirt with a pocket. And he had tracks in there. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Those nurses at the hospital must have gotten tired of Don Copeland. <laughs> because he was always handing out tracts, whether he had given you one in the past or not. He did not know. He just knew he was going to tell people about Jesus. Come on, guys. Amen. Isn't that what this is all about? Pastor, thank you for letting us use our tracks, and we appreciate that. 
But folks, as for me and my wife and me and my house, though my kids are um, acting dumb and stupid, I know, I know, y'all think I should be politically correct. No, I will not be because they are acting that way. They're not serving God. They're not being what they should be. So I would like you to understand something. You be faithful to Christ, and He will be faithful to you. Abide in Him, and He will abide in you. Amen? He sure will. Listen to this song. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. And then, Pastor, it's yours. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. God has given a calling, His word and song. Like a locomotive that is super strong. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. Some people don't understand the road we take. Though all we say and do is for Christ's sake. Jesus said that that settles it. The creed we live by. For we know that our fathers a return is nigh. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. God has given a calling, His word and song. Like a locomotive that is super strong. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. Amen. People say that we are silly. Follow Christ, living by faith in Him is too high a price. To follow who we can't see, who may or may not be, is the mark of a foolish man praying on his knees. But I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. God has given a calling, His word and song, like a locomotive that's super strong. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. God has given a calling. His word and song, like a locomotive that is super strong. I'm going to keep going until I'm gone. I'm going to keep going until I'm Pastor asked us to make a mention about our CDs and where we're from and everything. Countryside Baptist Church, if you want to contact us, you can either call or contact the church and the pastor here. Or you can uh, contact us on our cell phone, 214-675-4581. Pastor has that. Or if you want to reach us by post, if they still do that, don't they? P -O -R, we have a P.O. Box. It's P.O. Box 178 in Mansfield. That's just like it sounds. It's a Mansfield. Mansfield. Mansfield, Texas. And our zip code is 76063. But if you can't remember that, just contact Pastor Ewers. And we're so thankful that you let us come and thank you, be sir. a part of this special time. Yes, again. thank you so much. And we love y'all and we miss you. <laughs> <laughs> here, let him over here now. You know, the days part about uh, recording these, if you didn't get it, just replay it. And then you can get those uh, numbers and those phone calls and all the other things. Uh, it's been good to have the Crows back with us again this year. I don't know how many years in a row they've been with us, but 
they've been a blessing. My my children and my grandchildren truly enjoy them, and I enjoy them. <laughs> You know, we sing hymns, and hymns are wonderful, but sometimes it's, it's fun to hear songs that aren't hymns that are all about Jesus, and these are songs that are all about Jesus. I Thank hope they've been a blessing to you, and I hope as you uh, tune in to uh, Facebook or to YouTube and watch these, you might share these uh, links to this with friends that uh, they might receive a blessing as well. Amen. Uh, let's, uh, let's close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, it's been good to be here and uh, with the Crows, and uh, Lord, uh, their ministry is a unique ministry, and they've been a blessing to us uh, over the years. Uh, I pray that that they have been a blessing to the listeners today, that, uh, yeah, that their souls have been uplifted, that they've had a smile on their face. And, uh, Lord, it's it's a joy to be a Christian. It's not yes, it it's is. It's not gloom and doom. It's a, it's a it's a happy thing. Amen. And uh, Lord, I pray that we might learn to rejoice in Christ. And uh, I pray that there's some rejoicing taking place even today. Now, Lord, bless us, and I pray you'll uh, give us grace as we go our way. Give the crows uh, journey mercies. They travel on as they travel across the country ministering in music uh, to those in here uh, and those doors that are open to them and, and use them and bless them to be a blessing and Lord may we remember that we need to have a smile on our face uh, as a Christian yes it's hard to reach the lost if we're if we've got a big frown on our face all the time what we have in you is good it gives us joy it lifts our hearts <laughs> And Lord, Amen. may we be Christians that have learned how to smile. Now, Amen. Lord, bless us as we go our way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen.